Well, it's Sheffield Wednesday under the Friday night lights for us as our first game back after the international break. And joining us this week, we've got Marlon Pack. Thanks for coming on in. Let's start by find out what you got up to over your break. Um, not much, to be honest. Um, just relaxed. Done the school run a bit more than I'm able to. Um, bite to eat. Um, yeah, the day goes quick when you're uh, dropping the oldest up at score at nine and then you have to be back for free. There's not too much you can do, but just nice to kind of down tools and relax and have a mental break from it all. Yeah, I bet. Uh, how are you finding Cardiff so far? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, obviously, the start wasn't the best for me in terms of my injury, which didn't help. But um, now that I'm back training and playing, I'm obviously, as a footballer, there's nothing better. So. Uh, everyone's made me feel welcome from the staff to the lads to everyone who works at the club. So obviously now I'm just looking forward to getting my head down and playing some more games. How are you settling in? Like obviously you know a couple of the guys, Aidan as well. Yeah. So do you feel settled as a bluebird now? Yeah, definitely now. Like I said, um, uh, it was quite a big move for me um, for being at Bristol for so long. Um, and then, like I said, the injury probably didn't help with the settling in period. But um, because you missed that, Banter on the training pitch with the lads, you're in the yeah. gym, sometimes alone or with staff. And um, but I feel fully settled now. Like you said, Flinty's been a massive help at the start, and you come across a lot of the players uh, throughout your career, so you know them anyway. So um, now I'm fully enjoying it. Um, um, we made an okay start, and we know there's a lot more to come. Just to talk about that injury you picked up there, that was the first one in a very long time, actually, wasn't it? How do you? feel at that point? It's football um, really but I've been lucky enough throughout my career not to go through really that process of having an injury. It just how it is, you, you've been at the club for six years and then you go to a new club and you get injured straight away so but I think it's key to having a strong mindset and you know staying focused and knowing that if you do the work then you'll be back and then hopefully there to help the lads. And that being said you came back with a vengeance against QPR, one goal almost two. Yeah, I was, you know, I was more kicking myself over the second um, than actually being happy about scoring because I don't get too many opportunities. So, um, yeah, that second one was one that just grazed the post and it would have been nice to score too. But I'm glad to be off the mark um, so early on in my career. Um, would like to add a few more, but I won't get too excited we'll about see. that. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> We're obviously on a good run of form at home. How are you enjoying playing at Cardiff City Stadium? Yeah, like I said, I think the home form has been great for us. Atmosphere helps, I think, you know, under the lights, Friday night as well. Hopefully that will count towards a good performance and definitely spurs the lads on, I think. Um, especially when moments in the game are tough and you need, you know, that back and behind you to make sure you, you're digging in. Um, and long may it continue, it, it definitely bodes well for a successful season if you can have a good home record. Sheffield Wednesday now on Friday, like you just said, under the relatively new management of Gary Monk. It's going to be a tough game, but how, how are you guys looking to approach it? Yeah, um, I mean, I think individually they have a, a lot of good players. Um, Gary Monk's come in and, and, and had a decent start with them. So, as always in the Championship, we know each game is going to be tough and they've got a lot of quality, but I don't think that um, detracts from what we'll try and do. Obviously, we're at home, we want to start on the front foot, hopefully continue that for the rest of the game. And how, obviously, it's always vital, but how vital at this stage of the, the season where teams are starting to break away are those three points, if any points? Yeah, well, like I, said, I think I'm three points are vital in any game, but especially on a Friday night when you can kind of look forward to the Saturday games knowing you've done your job. And with the, the mini games we've got coming up now, you know, three in a week, if you can go on a run and get a good return for those three games, I think it could propel you up the table because it is so tight, it's so early. Um, and I think now, really up until Christmas, you maybe will start seeing a, a kind of breakaway. Well, that's it from me. We'll take a couple of questions from social yep. media from the fans. Starting with Twitter, um, at Chris Marcus one he's asking, what was it like coming to Cardiff City to play against Cardiff? Uh, with other teams and secondly then how does it feel to now play for us? Um, I think on my uh, interview when I first signed I never actually won it as a opposing player. Um, I think I may have got a draw once um, but yeah it's always a tough place to come and obviously now being a player you can 
you know, being on the other side of yeah. it, you can see um, why it was a tough place to come. Yeah, I just think if we can continue that home form, like you said, and make it a fortress, and it will help towards a good season. Yeah. Uh, Reese Gully 27 is asking, how did it feel coming back from injury earlier than you maybe expected? And then, of course, getting that goal at Cardiff City Stadium. Yeah, I think it kind of makes it all worthwhile. I've been lucky, like I said, throughout my career not to really have an injury. So it's one where it was near enough a complete unknown for me. Um, but knowing that you've done the work and, you know, with the help of the physios and, you know, sports science, and then to get back in the team and play, for me, really three games in a week, which is quite a, an achievement and a milestone um, to be able to get through those, tick those off and now I know I've done the work to be able to hopefully continue for an injury free season. Fingers crossed. Um, Halsey123 wants to know who is the most annoying player at the club? So we've not been here that long but I can imagine a couple of the boys have uh, stood out as being oh. particular characters in that time of day. Annoying. Um... Hard to whittle it down, eh? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm only going to say Sol, because he's always moaning about something. Is he really? Yeah. See, we all think that he's this happy, smiley character. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's, he's a bit of a moaner. Tea. Yeah. Oh, he moans with a smile on his face, but <laughs> if it's fines, training, sometimes it's, like I said, it doesn't really annoy me, because uh, it brings a bit of banter as well, but... For being at the club for such a short period of time, he's the biggest moaner, so if that comes across annoying, then I'll have to give it a song. Does he get fined a lot? He does get the odd fine, yeah. But it he's not the worst? It. He'll pay it at the last minute. Oh. Because he's moaning. Our next one is from Edwards underscore Adam. Who has been the toughest player you've played against in the championship? Oh, that's a tough one. Barry Bannon's good. I like Barry Bannon. Obviously, we come against him on Friday, so, you know, that's one just off my top of my head because... I said we'll be working on the Sheffield Wednesday, you know, set up. So yeah. just off the top of my head, I think, you know, Barry Bannon on his day is very good. So maybe one we'll be looking to stop as well come Friday. OK, and our very last one comes from Jack Saunders. What do you think about the atmosphere at Cardiff City Stadium and with the travelling fans at away games? They've been great at home. And that's why um, I think some of the results have been great. But, you know, some of the away support has been fantastic. I think. Hull and West Brom, yeah. you know, from the last two games I played away from home, travelling support were really, really good, um, especially Hull with such a long journey. Um, and hopefully we can pick up that away form to give them something to travel home with. Um, first away win of the season, eh? First away win, yeah, so hopefully it comes on Tuesday. Fingers crossed. And good luck for Friday. Thank you. And thanks for coming in. Thank you. And as always, guys, at home, keep an eye on our social media channels. We'll let you know which player we've got in next week and you can send in some more of your questions. But that's it from us for now. Thanks for watching.